my family's been on that farm since 1814. Ultra runner John Kelly's world began in Morgan County, not far from Frozen Head State Park. Yeah, home of the world's most ridiculous race, the Barkley Marathons. It's all off trail, five loops around 130 miles. No one knows for sure because everything's unmarked. You gotta self-navigate, no GPS. About 70,000 feet of climbing through the briars and everything else out there, and you got 60 hours to finish it. Only 15 runners in the world have ever successfully completed the Barkley. Yeah! And Kelly is one of them. He now lives in England, but made the trip back home to Tennessee for a crack at becoming a two-time Barkley finisher. It just got canceled altogether. Travel bans for the coronavirus played taps for the Barkley and a field of 40 of the world's best mountain runners. And I thought, I'm going to be here anyway. What the heck can I actually do that's maybe in some way positive? So Kelly cooked up a solo run that followed park rules of only running on trails and during daylight. But he'd still have to finish five 20-mile loops within 60 hours, what he calls the no Barkley Barkley. This was the closest some sort of uh, Barkley. Kelly ran two 20-mile laps Saturday, two more on Sunday, and one final loop Monday. And crossed the 100-mile finish 52 hours after he started. And Kelly did the whole thing wearing the flags of the home countries, of the people who would have run in this year's Barkley. To pay tribute to those people that were excited about coming out here, and people apply to this race for years and put in tremendous training uh, to come run it. I was thrilled with the fact I managed to keep all the flags. I lost Norway on the very first loop, but then I, I found it. Throughout the run, Kelly followed the rules for social distancing, while tens of thousands of people followed his progress on social media. Giving people a little bit of, of joy or, or maybe even just a distraction. And maybe briefly lighten the load for people during a daunting pandemic by putting the world on his shoulders. Whatever we can do to, to lift each other up, that's what's going to get us through this. In Morgan County, Jim Matheny, WBIR 10 News.